Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome back to Signalis, where I'm looking for a woman. I'm looking for her in the middle of a mining operation of some sort. Things have gone wrong, terribly wrong. I don't know if I'm the same replicant robot that was looking for somebody else on a different planet. There's quite a few mysteries going on in this game. Memorandum. Wall safe codes. It has come to my attention that at least one worker might be aware of the code. I'm aware of this note. I've, I've found this note before in my life. Yes, I will pick up the bullets. The disposable stun prod. Due to recent events, all facility staff members are encouraged to familiarize themselves with the use of electro-impulse devices. We've been supplied with a shipment of EIG-2 disposable stunt prods for training purposes. Please refer to the enclosed handbook for more information. The electro-impulse grat IEIG-2. The IEIG-2 stun prod is a single-use, short-range, disposable, non-lethal solution for incapacitating non-cooperative individuals. It can be equipped to the tool slot in the inventory screen. Once equipped, it will be shown in the lower left of the inventory screen. The IG 2 stun prod can be used with one hand while on the move and even while aiming another weapon. Once equiped, to use the stun prod, simply press the sh left shoulder button when facing a nearby enemy. Warning, high voltage electric discharge may arc to individuals close to the target. Use with care. Do not deploy on elderly, pregnant, or individuals with known heart disease unless absolutely necessary. Dispose of stun prod properly after use. I like it. Interesting that it says absolutely necessary. Uh, sir, it was necessary of me to use the stun prod on this elderly, elderly person. The East Wing key. All right. What was the passcode? Two one four five zero six. Was the default? Hmm. But this might not be. Um, getting stuck on the default in the same way uh, that that was. Yeah, 204512. That is very different. 204512. Okay, so it might just be the classroom one. I... We'll have to carry on. Maybe enter the East Wing at some point. Possibly now. As we have the key to it. Actually... Yeah, I've already been down that way. Hmm. How far to the right can I go? Okay, all the way. That's fine. But ultimately, it seems that my goal right now is to make my way um, uh, deeper into the mine. First, I need to unlock the elevator. The stall is locked. Is someone inside? Hmm. Is somebody inside? That is a mystery that we will not be able to solve. Yes, pick up the bullets. Only three bullets. 
Ammo is definitely a rarity in this world. How is my inventory looking? I only have one empty slot. I might have to put that photograph away. Now I have no empty slots. Well, how about let's carry on? Uh, hello? Too bad you can't uh, directly look at how much ammo is in your uh, in your pistol. Okay, so there's down and to the right. What is progress? What is not progress? The Mansa. The Mensa key is required. Hello. Oh, there's the Mensa key. That was fast. Let's see, what is this, uh, what kind of service request does this person want? My ma mapping module is still defective and won't show any map data. I keep getting lost on my way to work and back. I had to sleep in a hallway last cycle because I couldn't find the staff elevator to get to my door. Please, I can't find my way around this place without a map. Hmm. All right. So I'm going to have to go back to the uh, save room. Whatever it is, it doesn't seem edible. Uh, drop off the repair spray, the repair patch. Yeah, I probably should just drop off the photograph. Maybe, I don't know. It seems like a plot important point. Yeah, okay, let's go without. Hold on. While I'm here. Does it really need to make frightening noises when I'm saving my game? Is that its punishment for using the save function? All right, let's grab the Mensa key and enter the Mensa room so that we could essentially then use the Mensa key and that will free up that space in my inventory anyway. Pick up Mensa key? Yes! I feel like there could have been two more inventory spaces. If I had two more inventory spaces, I think I would be gold. Okay, get rid of you, get rid of you. Yes, I would enjoy some more ammo. And a repair patch, and is this more ammo as well? Yes, I'll take it.
All right, that door is unlocked. I feel like this is the solution to Silent... I don't know, I don't know. Silent Hill combat is itself a tricky one. Like... Silent Hill combat tends to be bad, and I've heard arguments that it's fine because it's supposed to be bad. Like, if this combat was more difficult, would I appreciate it more? Broken key? Yes, I guess. I'm guessing I'm going to be able to find the rest of this key. Probably in this neighboring room. Oh, hello. You look pretty awesome. How many stun props are ref filling up my inventory now? Oh, wait, no. I still have the empty... Do I... St one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I'll be back. You... You hang out and be cool. Oh, hello. You're new. And you're gone. How many bullets do I have? Uh, two more bullets in the... Oh, hold on. I think that actually clears out my inventory. For better or worse. Alright, let's go see what this, uh... What this super cool lady over here is all about. Pick up West Wing Key, yes. You don't look like you belong here. You're an Elster unit, right? This facility is currently on lockdown. You shouldn't be here. I'm the protector controller on duty on this level. I don't know what kind of business you have here. But as you can probably see, we've got bigger issues right now. If you're looking for the commander, I have bad news for you. She got sick, and everyone else is getting sick too. That's really all I know about it. I'm sure the administrator knows more, but who knows where he is? Hmm. If you're the protector controller, why aren't you protecting and or controlling? Due to recent events, some security technicians will be serving both work shifts and night shifts. Affected guard units are as follows. Affected controller units are as follows. Until an effective treatment is found or reinforcements are sent from Hymet, we'll all have to stay strong and do our best to keep the facility, the facility secure. Failure is not an option. P.S. Keep in mind the administrator unit. Since the incident, he's been acting stranger than usual. Without the commander to keep in, him in check, we'll have to ask Colibri for help. Okay, that cleared up not much. Apparently, the administrator might have been up to something. Or something may have been affecting the administrator. It's hard to tell if any of these characters I'm dealing with are... Oh, hello. Alright. So that's how the disposable... ...stun prod works. Pretty nice. How is my um, inventory looking? Do enemies just keep coming back to life? Is my question.
mine shaft A access. I need an administrator's key to call this elevator. Oh. So if I wait uh, for a long, longer time to get a bead on the enemy, then I might have a stronger hit. That's the impression I'm getting. Hello. How are you? Okay, so there's a broken key in there. I'm going to have to go and drop... ...nothing off. because I have just enough bullets. Okay. A strange rectangular key with a butterfly wing pattern. Wasn't there a box? Where was there a box that I could open that uh, had a, um, like a square lock to it? I don't remember. I feel okay with the decision of... Actually, hold on. The map actually is pretty good. So it might have been in the first aid room. Oh, no. The butterfly box is right there. It's labeled on the map. Thank you, map, for providing decent details. Well, this is not a happy place. Moon, 55. Sun, 89. Scales, 118. Rook, 141. Tree, 172. Sword, 231. What does that mean? Is that a solution to a puzzle? Oh, hello. How are you? Don't mind me. Just gonna drop a few things off. Um, yeah, the repair, the repair. And then let's go use the butterfly key. What are you? A mysterious artifact is placed in the box. Pick up Plate of Eternity. Okay, this has suddenly become a first person game. With a very, very, very low sensitivity. But I'm sure I'm not meant to explore that much. I'm only meant to... So I decided the best place to keep my phone was out of reach. So I took a photo of that. The moon is 55. There's some sort of speaker or microphone up front. How do I... How do I interact with it?
Oh, I'm not supposed to. But that person's frequency was 160, I think. To Radio Officer Young, Station 6. Uh, Dear Iris, I hope you and Ariane, Ariane are both well. I've spoken to the officials at Aeon, and they agreed it would be best for Ariane to attend school in Sector C. I have a spare room she can stay in until she graduates. I know you two are inseparable, but we both know that it is best for your daughter if she receives a new, a normal education in the city. Love your sister, Camilla. Camilla. And we've got a delicious looking lunch over there. A luncheon. Actually, it's I'm, I'm uh, exaggerating. All there is is a bar. They probably already ate their food. Rem 64. There's a replica radio module in the box. Pick up the radio module, yes. The radio module can receive radio transmissions on frequencies between 50 and 250 kilohertz. Access the radio module by pressing up on the inventory screen. When tuned to certain frequencies, automatically decoded messages will appear in the transcription window. REM-64 Long Wave Radio Receiver Module The REM-64 Long Wave Radio Receiver Module allows a replica unit to directly receive and process low-frequency amplitude modulation radio transmissions in the range of 50 to 250 kilohertz. The REM-64 module is installed in the module slot behind the left ear of Generation 5 replicas. To access the module's functionality, open the inventory screen and press up to open the subsystem screen. The receiver module will show up on the far left ear. To switch the radio receiver on and off, press A. You can adjust the frequency with left and right. When the receiver is on, the frequency indicator will light up red and the spectrogram bars will begin to move. When turned to a station with a subcarrier signal, the signal label will ignite. When tuned to a station transmitting a data stream, the data label will ignite. And the transmitted data will be displayed in the transcription field at the bottom of the screen. I hope you're all paying attention. There will be a quiz. Alright. Can I look at that book? Can I look... That book is off... Can I look at these books? At this frying pan. All right, let's uh, press up. Okay, let's go to uh, 55. 55 is the moon. Hmm, 89 is sun? One eighteen is scales? One forty one is something else. One seventy three one seventy two is tree. Oh, it's the, the good old friendly number station. And 231 is sword. Oh, hold on.
Yeah, 160 is the radio that's outside on this tower. So I'm broadcasting the numbers radio. Huh. The surface appears to be made of smooth, polished black marble or granite, but there is something soft and wet inside. Huh. So what am I supposed to do? Yeah, that was the letter for school. There are knives on the table. Well, let, let's take a look at these uh, transmissions again. There was 160... Huh, I can't interact with it while I have the radio transmission going. I don't know if that's meaningful of anything. Can I go back the way I came? The answer is no. That's blocked off. All right, let's see. Yeah, front fork, it just has the... I wonder what I'm missing. Oh, I had to just stand in front of it while using it and have the right frequency going. All right. Okay, why am I switching between these two characters? Or am I switching between three characters? What do I do with... this wall plate? Well, let's go save our game. I suppose we can at least do that, even if I have no idea what the Plate of Eternity is used for. Well, I suppose I now have access to a radio with this character. So this is Moon.
sun is 89. Scales is 118. Actually, hold on. What was this? 64426. Hmm. This is the wrong door. That's fine. We can leave. We can come back. I want to... I, I would imagine one of these is the safe code. Not that one. Tree. Tree is 172. So that's two, five, eight, six, two. Two, five, eight, six, two. All right. And what do we have here? An identification card for a member of the Protector Medical Staff authorizes access to the Protector Elevator. You know, we've just saved our game. We can save it again. Um, let's put away the Eternity Rock, because we don't know when we're actually going to use that. Alright, where is the elevator again? It is straight down... Block A6, left and south corridor. Pretty straight shot. Yeah. You can't get me that easily, monsters. And I find myself asking again, do the monsters regenerate? Or are they just brought back to life um, via plot points? Yes, I will use the identification card. Do I want to go back up to floor one? Hmm. Or can I go all the way down to floor six? Well, let's let's start at floor one and start working our way down. Oh my gosh, do I have to do everything for you? This is a very like using the elevator in this game has quite the process. Oh, hello. Hello, shotgun rounds. Ah, it's you again. I'm glad you're still okay. Have you found who you're looking for? I'm looking for someone too. My sister. 
If you see her, would you tell her I'm looking for her? Don't worry, you'll recognize her when you see her. Have you ever wondered if you're speaking to someone for the last time without knowing? I wish I could go back, so I could say something else. This place is very strange, isn't it? I wonder what happened to her, but it doesn't really matter. So she doesn't know either. You don't need to worry about me. I can take care of myself now. I can't keep relying on others. That's why she left me, after all. I'm sure of that now. Huh. I'm going to need to get rid of these shotgun shells. They're uh, clogging up my inventory. Alright, I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to go uh, run back to the save point in uh, floor 2. Save my game. For now, got any suggestions for something to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.